In this video, I'm going to go over how I passed the Certified Ethical Hacker exam in 30 days. If you're looking to get this cert to change your career, I honestly would not suggest it unless it's free. Now, if the material is free, absolutely go for it. But the credibility among the IT world is not that high. HR really likes it because it sounds really cool, but that's it. So if you have a free voucher, go ahead and take the exam, watch this video. If you don't, I, su I suggest looking at Security Plus, Net Plus, and A Plus. I have videos on how to pass those exams um, that I can link right here. If, if you think reading the book is the most effective studying strategy and you think that's the only way, uh, uh, this video is for you. I'm here to tell you it's an absolutely terrible way to learn. It's completely inefficient and it wastes too much time. We need to get this exam in 30 days. So in order to do that, I'm going to explain a few principles and then I'll get straight into the work. So the first one is Parkinson's law. Now you want to give it 30 days. You honestly don't need that much more. Uh, because time will expand or shrink in the, the amount of time that you give it. So if you're like, I'm going to mow my lawn in 30 days, it will take you 30 days to mow that long. Find time that you weren't aware of to be able to do this. And go ahead and go book that exam right now. Hopefully it's a free voucher. If it's not a free voucher, <laughs> uh, look at Security Plus. Honestly, don't do the CEH. Who has it, uh, it's not worth it. But if you really are dead set on it, go book it right now. So comment, like, and subscribe if you have any questions or if you like this material or you wanna see more of it. So we're not gonna be rereading and taking notes passively, and this goes into the core of it. So it's the active recall framework. First, you are going to want to understand the material, and that includes scoping the subject and going into the details. Then you're going to want to remember the facts. Remembering the facts without understanding exactly what you're remembering is a terrible way and will make you a terrible employee. You really need to understand the basis of what you're learning. Don't take shortcuts in this. Really learn the material. Step one of studying for the exam is not rereading the book over and over and over and taking notes passively. It's scoping the subject. So you really need to see the forest for the trees. What I'm gonna do is I suggest getting the book uh, right here. It's probably one of the only technical books I have. Yes, that is coffee. That is definitely coffee. Don't judge me. Do not judge me here. Hmm. Um, and then scope, scope the subject. So go through it, get a good idea of exactly what you are going to be looking for. Skim through it just gives you a good overview. It shouldn't take you more than four to five hours, and that is day zero. After you have completely scoped your subject from the book, you're going to want to go into step number two. Now, the step number two is to go into the details for what you've just scoped. Um, I suggest Plural Sight by, I think it's Dale Meredith, it is, uh, and going through his course material. But when you're going through it, this is a really important part. Do not passively take notes. Do not passively take notes. Instead, what you're going to do is you're going to make questions based on the material. So a DDoS attack is attack on this, blah, blah, blah. And they'll just write that down. Instead of writing that down, write down what is a DDoS attack. And this will help you when it goes into the active recall part because you're going to actively recall these questions. That is so important. Uh, don't just passively take notes. It's a complete waste of time and highly inefficient. I know it's you're probably not used to it. Just try it, I promise you. So this will come into play later, and that is step three, which is spaced repetition. Now, you're going to want to download Anki cards. I've linked them below. And you're going to want to do sp spaced interval. And this overcomes the forgetting curve, and it, it's, it makes learning more difficult. So people think that you learn by just shoving facts into your head, and that is not true. You learn facts by retrieving those to, to not forget it, basically. Like passively, I honestly have, school is so ineffective, but that's for another time. Couldn't find an Anki deck here, I tried. Um, so I linked the GitHub below, and then that you can make into flashcards if you want, and you want to do it at spaced intervals. And so you want to forget the facts because making it harder to retrieve them is actually meaning you're learning better. You don't want to learn passively. Waste of time, spent way too many years doing that. 
you want to actively recall the facts um, so then you remember it and then can impress all of the people at work about your great knowledge and how well you can retain information. Also during this time, you're going to want to go back and uh, relearn. You're going to want to go back into those questions that you created in step two, which was write notes in the question form, and you're gonna to want to go through them and then learn it, to be honest. Uh, and then if you and go through those questions and see what you're missing. And if you don't know the answer, that's when you go into the book right here, look up that answer. Um, so what is a DDoS attack? You're going to find it and then you're going to read about DDoS attacks and that gives you more context. On now let's go into step four, Feynman technique. Now the Feynman technique is basically you have to explain everything that you've learned to a child in its simplest, most perfect form clarity. And it is so important to be able to explain it to a coworker. Once you have that down, then go to, now you're gonna do a third party question and answer. Now I love Bozen or Bozen, I'm not really sure. They have the greatest questions and answers and I was helped so much about it. Now you want to wait until the last step after you have the concepts down. So that way when you go to take these questions and answers, uh, it will, I guess furthermore, see if you have any gaps in your knowledge. It also is really close to how the real test is and is warded. They do an amazing job. I'm not sponsored, I use it personally. Uh, so that will be the fifth step. And then the sixth step doesn't exist. So go ahead and take that exam um, and let me know how you did. If you have any questions or concerns or criticisms or maybe I'm not explaining it well enough, leave a comment below, like, subscribe. This channel is all about helping you get a job in tech and I hope you have an absolutely wonderful day. Thank you.